Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on writing a fraction in its simplest form. Now in the previous video we looked at identifying equivalent fractions. So for example, if I had say a half of something, so it's split into two and I have one of those halves, if I was to repeat that diagram and I was to split it again like this, I haven't changed what fraction of this diagram I have. But can you notice that I now have two quarters? Because instead of two pieces, I have now four pieces. And out of those two pieces, I have one of them here. And out of these four pieces, I have two of them. But it's the same amount of stuff, isn't it? It's the same fraction of this pizza or cake or whatever. So here we can see we have half, one out of two pieces. And here we can see we have two quarters because out of the four pieces, we have two of them. And those fractions are equal because they represent the same amount of stuff. So we can see we can simplify two over four to one over two. And to write a fraction in its simplest form means you want to make the numbers as small as possible. Now the way to do it without having to draw diagrams is to just identify the biggest number you can divide 2 and 4 by. Now 2 and 4, you can divide both of them by 2, can't you, without a remainder. So if I divided 2 by 2 and 4 by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2 quarters is the same as a half and that's a fraction in its simplest form. What about 15 over 20? Again, we look for something we can divide both these numbers by, known as a common factor. Now, 5 is a factor of 15, and 5 is a factor of 20. So if I write divide by 5 at the top and the bottom, then 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So 15 over 20 in its simplest form is 3 quarters. And just to reiterate that whatever you divide the top number by, you also have to divide the bottom number by that same number. And then this final example, 54 over 63. What do they have as a common factor? Well, they're both in the 9 times tables. So we can divide both of them by 9. So if we put divide by 9 at the top, and therefore the same at the bottom, divided by 9. 54 divided by 9 is 6. 63 divided by 9 is 7. Now one final point to make is that you don't have to necessarily find the biggest number that goes into these. You can simplify the fraction multiple times. So for example, if I had 12 over 30, and I want to write down its simplest form, I could try and find the biggest number that goes into both, but just notice that these are both even, aren't they? So if they're both even, then they must both divide by 2. Now 12 divided by 2 is 6, 30 divided by 2 is 15, but there's another number we can divide these by. These are both in the 3 times table. So I can divide them both by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. And at that point, there's nothing else except for 1 that we can divide both these numbers by. So my point here is that we don't have to simplify it all in one go. We can just keep on finding any number we can divide these by and then keep simplifying until there's nothing left that we can divide by.